Hello everyone, welcome back to Discworld. I'm Pete. And I'm Viv. And when we last left off, we had just uh, left off the first uh, element of the dragon seeking device. And... What was it called? Ear luggage. Ear luggage. Yeah, we can check all the ingredients here. We've got this one. A staff of tumultuous thermaturgy. So I'll just uh, study it uh, on the rest here. I'll be on the lookout for that. But first, let's explore the rest of the university. That one must be the broom closet. Well, the one labeled kitchen. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's cooking food. I suppose that means we have to call him a cook. Ooh. Purely by definition. <laughs> Excuse me. But could I ask you some questions? Clear off! And no magic in the kitchen! One more spell goes off in this place, and I'm going to complain to the Arch Chancellor! That's Tony Robinson again. Are you always this surly? Not always. I even know a jolly duke. Really? Yes. What's ugly, hollow, and rings like a bell? I don't know. What? Look over there. Get the number of that donkey cock. It's a good joke. Yep. Let's try one of our own. Well, that's a fine skill to have. Your parents must be very proud of you. Actually, I was going to become a wizard, but they found out my parents were married. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, there's the old Prussian whip shining through. Fascinating. Don't any of your pancakes get lost. What? From here? From my frying pan, you don't seem to realise the gravity of your accusation. Twenty-seven years I've been studying to be a cook's apprentice. I've got top marks for basic flipping left hand and right, and batter stirring, pan greasing and pancake stacking. Oh, how many did you get for customer relations? Two percent. Clear off. Explains a lot. Yeah. This is the worst kitchen I've ever seen. It would be worse. If there were worst... What's worst? It's a what's name? Uh, a sausage. Worst sausage? No, if you want the worst sausage, try Dibblers. Oh, dear. So it's to be pans, is it? Yes, yes, the pancakes for a while. It's very soothing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll catch you later, then. Well, we're not going to get much more information out of them. You've got a free pancake there, right? Yeah. And we can get free bananas. Oh, take the bananas! I'd always picture bananas as being a healthier kind of yellow. Right. Bananas always have. Let's have another banana, just in case we ever need one. Yeah. Uh, just in case you're wondering, uh, if we'd come in here before getting the one for, uh, from the luggage, there wouldn't have been any bananas there. Really? Oh, sneaky sneak! That's a kind of way of making sure we get the luggage ah, first. So mm. it was ice cream for dinner yesterday, eh? <laughs> Tricky, but just yeah. remarkably similar to food, but not quite. Thank the gods! At least there's a way out. And now, at last, it's time to go outside. One I know like the back of my hand. The good old library door. Ha <laughs> ha! Good old unseen you. I wonder if the walls are this high to keep what's outside from getting in, or what's inside from getting out. Philosophical question. Quite frankly, I think I'm being led up the garden path. Do you see what he did there? It. Another one of those doors without handles. Tradesman's entrance, I presume. I wonder what we traded him for. That doesn't work. Yeah, we can't get him up. Huh? New improved wonder grow. Grows anything. New instant formula. Hmm. Nope, not you. There you go, so now we have a bag of fertilizer. Mm. New improved wonder grow. Nice. Grows anything. New instant formula. Hmm. It'll be a while before that becomes useful, but we have it. Good 
grief! I thought the apprentices were all kept tied to stakes. I can hang on before he's after this young chap. Right. Let's see if well, where's the out. doorknob then? How can you have a door this big without a knob? <laughs> right, so we can't get out that way, obviously. Actually, it's been a while since I had a bath. <laughs> and what do we have in the bag? What's this then? Prunes, finest quality, extra dark old bowel buster. <laughs> <laughs> How do you open the gate? They've changed the wasp names. The hand wriggles. It's a whole new spell. So show me the new spell. Can't. The spell's a secret. I think that's the, the last of the voice actors in this game. That was Kate Robbins, who single-handedly voices every single female character across all three games. Okay. And also this bloke. Okay, fair enough. Nice weather. Since classes in wind whistling, rain making and lightning throwing are all scheduled for today, I think that's being a wee bit premature. So, yeah. so, this is it. You just you just stand here all day getting a wage for eating prunes. Certainly. Someone's got to do it. It's a plum job. <laughs> so fast. <laughs> What's that you're eating then? Prunes. Just a little nourishment to tide me through till lunchtime. Can I have one before I go? Having one before you go is the whole point of prunes. <laughs> and no, you can't. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Let's address the elephant in the room. The hand wriggles, please. Yeah, yeah, right. Look, you just wiggle them like this. Like this. Okay, so remember what I said earlier about the moon logic in this game? Yeah. Okay, watch this and tell me if you understand what's going on. Yes, almost. Now try it like that. Like this. Right you are, son. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'd like a nice lie down. But what about the gate? Aren't you going to guard it? Oh, who gives a monkeys? <coughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cart? Well, at least it's not just Rincewind that gets hit. Yeah. Well, I'll catch you later then. Yeah. So we tried to open the door and we vomited up a frog. Yeah. Another senior wrangler in the making. Is this for a pet? <laughs> okay, that will eventually make sense. In a kind Definite of a sort of way. Definitely senior wrangler potential in this slippery little blighter. But for now it's just a, a weird thing that happened. Mm -hmm. Let's see, can we open the door this time? There we go. All we need was a tougher boot. Yeah. Bisected by the river Ankh, the city of Ankh Morpur is the oldest existing city on the disc world. It is really two cities Proud Ankh, turnwise of the river, and Pestilent Morpur on the Widdish side. Although the pestilence is quite democratic and in fact covers most of the city. It is said that all roads lead to Ankh Morpork, but this is in fact incorrect. The truth is that all roads lead away from Ankh Morpork. So yeah, this is our playable area for the moment, the city of Ankh Morpork. Uh, as mentioned, that's the capital city of the Discworld, and I kind of skimmed over it earlier, earlier but uh, this world is a great big flat planet. Uh, it's carried it through space on the backs of four giant elephants. Ask me what the elephants stand on, Dave. What's the elephants? A giant turtle, obviously. Ugh. Yeah, that makes absolute sense. Yeah, of course it does. So here's all the various places we can go. Um, oh, and here's the city. Yep, it takes out of the city to the rest of the uh, the disc world, but it'll be a while before we get out there. Okay. So should we head for the palace first of all? Mm -hmm. We'll see what the local monarchy is doing about things. So, anyway, how's the wife? Oh, not so bad. How's yours? Oh, doing well, doing well. 
We thought we might invite you two around for dinner tomorrow night. I've made a chocolate cake, strawberry pudding, and duck's foot casserole with leaf mould. Leaf mould? Oh, sorry. Uh, did I say leaf mould? Um, I meant caramel. Anyway, there'll be lashings of everything. You know the wife. She likes to cook. Yeah, but is this a good idea? I thought she was watching her weight. Why should she watch her weight? Well, you know, after last time. When she accidentally ate that camel. Oh, she's not overweight. She's just, uh, oh, she's just cuddly. Yeah, cuddly. Very, very cuddly. With humps. So, um, how's your wife then? Did she get that thing off her face? Thing? What thing? Uh, the hairy thing. That's a beauty spot, that is. Oh, oh, I see. A bit long for a beauty spot, isn't it, though? I mean, in area. Look, moustaches are supposed to be a sign of sensuality. What, on women? Listen, are you calling my wife ugly? No. Good. I'd have been ever so cross if you did. I feel like we know these guys already. So... Oh good, a palace goon. Bad luck. Oh good, a palace goon. Bad luck comes in pairs, I suppose. Find me up. Look, could you just let me in, please? Clear off! Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I forgot something. But I'll just move on. Have we tried to go in? Clear oh. off! Clearly they're not having it. Now that's what I call a guarded conversation. Look, this is important. I demand that you two idiots let me go inside. Clear off! Yep, they're having none of it, so let's try an alternative path. Is she really that fat then? What? Well, your friend was saying how fat your wife is, so I thought... Oh, he did, did he? Lies. I'll never... <laughs> so while they're distracted, we can just slip inside. Stout fella. Greetings, lowly and scabby peasant. Hello, pointy hatted one, and less of the scabby, thank you. What's happening? We seek an audience with the patrician, the mighty ruler of Ang Morpork. It's about this dragon, you see. He's making the cows dry up and all the curtains fade. What, really? Well, that's what our Agnes says. Anyway, who wants to have their family char boiled by a dragon? Suits hell to shift. Yes. Well, anyway, that's what old Uncle Agnes says. You can't go fairer than that. Uncle Agnes? Yeah. Yeah, Uncle. So you'd, uh, you'd describe him as a bit of a man, then? I hadn't really thought about it, to tell the truth. Now you come to mention it, I suppose we should have asked. We just married him off to one of those guards outside the gates. Well, that explains something. <laughs> There's Tony Robinson again. It's Nanny Og. Nanny Og, another character from the books. <laughs> Hello, dear. Eek! Tired? Ooh, I give a pretty good foot massage. Now let's remain very, very calm about this, shall we? A quiet dinner, a relaxing evening watching the potions brew. I'm very good at toes, you know. How's about just a little sing-song? Don't suppose you know a wizard's staff has a knob on the end, do you? I do. <laughs> Mine hasn't, I can assure you. But I'll just rush off and check, just in case. Yeah. Exactly what Nanny Og is doing in Ike Moor Pork, I'm not sure. What's this thing? Definitive Tome of Custard Compoundment? That's my special custard making recipe book, that is, dear. You see, it contains special ingredients that will make it into a very potent love potion. Just one little sip and you'll fall in love with the first person that you see. I've got some brewing back home now. It'll work wonders on you. Yikes! I certainly won't be having any in the company I've been keeping lately. And that'll become important later. Like, actually very important. Custard's a major plot point in this game. Here? Wait a minute, you're a thief. What are you doing here? Well, it's about my quota, see? Quota? The amount I'm allowed to steal. It's not enough. The dragon's been destroying housing, so rent just went through the roof. I mean, a 20% increase in theft quotas for the duration of the emergency. Seems a reasonable thing to ask, doesn't it? Depends if you're in the 20%. One of the remarkable innovations introduced by the patrician was to make the Thieves' Guild responsible for theft. With annual budgets, forward planning, and above all, rigid job protection, 
Thus, in return for an average level of crime per annum, the thieves themselves saw to it that unauthorized crime was met with the full force of injustice, which was generally a stick with nails in it. Useful. It's an interesting idea, Vass, just to have it, like a certain amount that you're allowed to steal and then have the thieves re uh, regulate it for themselves. Mm-hmm. Of course, this does of course mean that any time you get robbed in more pork, it's vitally important to get a receipt. <laughs> oh, well, he's a busy man. Maybe this isn't the best time to bother him. The patrician can be sort of thought of as the semi-benevolent dictator of Ankh Morpork, administering not so much a reign of terror, but more an occasional light shower. Yeah, since so is Lord Veterinary, the patrician of Ankh Morpork. So, I hope you've come here on pleasant business. Um, yeah. Yeah, well. Non-disruptive business. Reliable, solid business. Rather than mere disruptive rumour monkey. Would I be right? Yes, obviously we'd be, he'd be right. Mm. Uh, there's another character voiced by Rob Bryden. There seems to be a pattern going here. Rumour mongering, solid business, um, maybe... Well, are you or aren't you? Make up your mind. So, uh, you wouldn't consider anything dragony at all to be... Valid. Valid conversation. Mm. In a nutshell, I think. Yes, 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 I see your point. Um, if, however, just for argument's sake... Argument? Well, I say argument, more a, a suppositionary discussion, really, but if something, say, vaguely reptilian were actually to creep into the conversation... Yes? And the weather being seasonal, a flame or even fire-breathing theme were to, as it were, intrude across into the subject... Huh. Yes. Yes, I see your point. Hmm. Well, well, you see where that begins to lead us, then? Quite. Quite. Yes, yes, quite right. Well, I think this sort of information deserves a very thorough treatment. Ah, exactly so. Perhaps the dungeon's information retrieval technicians might be willing to offer their services in such a case. Refresh your memory of details, that sort of thing. Ah, information retrieval technicians. Yes, they're the ones. The ones with racks and windlasses and, and that long sort of bent thing that they poke. Ah, now you're with me. All supposition, of course. Yes, yes, as you, as you say. In any case, was there anything you wished to broach with me at all? Taxes, law reforms, dragons? Dragon? Goodness, no! What dragon? Exactly. We'll let it rest there then, shall we? Don't let me detain you. Yes, yes, no, no need to stretch the point. So yeah, I could, pr could probably go take an entire video just discussing Lord Veterinary and uh, just, the, just the interesting facets of that character, but... <laughs> yeah, suffice to say that, uh, that uh, he has developed quite a lot in, over the course of, what, 40-odd books. So... Have you any idea how difficult it is to get through to see you? Not really. Funnily enough, I've never had cause to do it, you see. Well, I think it's appalling. Whatever happened to open government? Well, since you put it like that, the last ruler who tried it ended up extremely open. I still find it odd that a genuine wizard can hardly get in to see you. I mean, what if there's signs or portents or something? You're blocking traditional seer's routes of egress. Well, I always look on inaccessibility as being a measure of the man. Supply and demand, that sort of thing. Still, now you're here... At last! Quite. Well, now you're here. We should extend you some hospitality. A little refreshment, maybe even a quick whiz around the palace. A walk along the highly dangerous battlement. Or a brief tour of the dungeons, perhaps. Ah, no, 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 you're a busy man. Exactly. Oh, uh, fun fact. Uh, uh, Lord Bethnari, the... Uh, th there was a, a mini-series adaptation of one of the books made about ten years ago. Uh, do you know who played Lord Veterinary? Charles Dance. Oh, cool! Yep. It's basically a trial run for playing time on Lannister. Mm. Apparently he's a massive fan of the books. Really? Yeah, fun cool. little fact. Serious business? Well, yes. Really? Ah, oh, well, um, it's all pretty grim stuff, uh, actually. You see, I've come to get some action happening about this dragon business. What? Well... That, 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 that is, um... Now listen to me. There are no such things as dragons. 
They are a physical impossibility. No ifs, buts, or maybes. I've had enough. The next person who mentions dragons in my presence will be off for a trip to the information gathering technicians. Extremely quickly. Well, uh, I, I just thought. Yeah. Oh, right you are then. Shall we talk about dragons again? No, I think we've probably Look, shouldn't. I'll just go and stand over here then, all right? All right, let's see if we can get something sensible out of someone. Just what I needed. Ten minutes in a room with a complete git. Hello? But oh, it's a visitor, isn't it, Chucky? <laughs> a visitor? But yes, it is. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Cobble the gear, cobble the gear! Mr. Pencil then says hello! <laughs> hello! <laughs> he said hello to us, Chucky. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! That's John Pertwee, isn't it? It is, yeah. I think he's doing the, uh, the, 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 the I think it's the spotty voice from uh, oh, that's Super it. Tales. Yes, it is, totally, yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, uh, what might your name be? It's secret, eh? I can't tell you, but Mr. Flower knows. Oh, well, if you like. Um, hello, Mr. Flower. <laughs> <laughs> wet! He's all wet! Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. Yeah, I get the impression John Pertwee is enjoying himself here. <laughs> excuse me, I think I must have missed something. <laughs> missed it? Missed it? Oh, oh, very good, very good. <laughs> he's good, isn't he, Chucky? He's good, he's very good. Yes, he's very good indeed. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Are you alright? Oh, are you alright, Chucky? Are you alright? Cobble the gear, cobble the gear! I think I'm just going to lie down for a little while. Yeah, he seems like a level-headed kind of fellow. Look, I was wondering if I could get some information off you. Information? Information? Information, Chucky? About lizards? About dragons, yes? Well, yes, all right. Dragons? All about dragons then, Uncle? Look, could you just keep it down a little, please? Dragons, Chucky? Chucky doesn't like dragons. Shut up! Quiet! Now just tell me what you know. Tell what? What about the dragon? What dragon? The dragon that threatens the city. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Marie knows about the dragon. Quiet! Dragon, Chucky, dragon! Now look. <laughs> Guess what I am now? Boring? No. No? Guess again. A teapot. Yes, teapot. A teapot, Chucky. Oh! Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Oh. Stop it! Stop acting insane! Insane? Did you say insane? Yeah. Yes. Ooh, Chucky doesn't like it when I'm called insane. My mother called me insane once. She said it right before she died. Ooh. Right. Well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. Another fun fact, there's a guild for the fools in the city as well. Oh, sure. And they are universally the most miserable people on the planet. Of course. Of course they are. <laughs> Why do I always get the loons? The loons! Boons! Goons! <laughs> uh, you come to ask a boon? Look, are you on treatment for this condition? The treatment? Treatment? The very clever. The very clever. The Chucky likes treatment. Does pencil head want some treatment too? Now look, why don't you and your puppet just go away? Anyway, what sort of treatment? Whoa! <laughs> Chucky likes his jokes. Oh, oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Yeah, he all seems he seems very rational. Yeah. A suspiciously animated jester's staff. Angel! Chucky bite nasty wizard! Eep! Actually, if you're going to spend all day in a chair, I think you'd be better off opting for something with more lower back support. Yeah, it might be Game of Thrones again, that, uh, that big one, uh, the Iron Throne. It's kind of impractical when you get right down to it. Yeah, totally. What's in a here? A star? Then? He's got hopes. All in all, it's a nice dress for him. Mm. Last time I saw a ring as big as that, there were druids dancing around him. Offler is one of the gods in the Discord, by the way. 
Yes, definitely a hatch then. Not a bad little mirror there. There we go, and I retro to the tune of one mirror. Mm. Oh, there's a bigger one over ah, here. Ah, the jumbo size. Love those lampwicks. That doesn't work. Well, you can't even look at yourself in the mirror, come on. Oh, well, that's all we can do in the palace for now, so let's move on. Thank the gods! At least there's a way out. Let's see you then, chaps. So many places we can go. You know what? I've, you fancy a drink? Let's go. Hey. To the broken drum. Nice drum. Pity that it's broken, though. Hmm, yes. Drinks, tables, it's a bar, all right. Thank heavens I took that course in object recognition. Uh, yes, the broken drum is a uh, pretty major location in the books. It's a uh, very popular bar. It's uh, burnt down in the... Uh, in the very first book, and then gradually rebuilt. It was uh, burnt down, possibly on purpose, after the, uh, a foreign uh, tourist introduces the concept of something called in-sewer ants. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what it is either, but anyway. Ah, well, bouncing, being an active, happy sort of motion, obviously implies a playful nature. I hope he's going to be friendly to me. Yeah, this is a, a troll, on top of being a bouncer. In fact, in the, book, in the books, they're described as being splatters, which is like a bouncer, only it, uh, trolls use more force. Oh, okay, fair enough. So, let's, let's see if we can make friends with Greetings. them. Greetings! Hello. Are you, uh, uh, it begins with a T, a, a, a troublemaker? No. No, why do you ask? Oh, well, I bored, see. That's the downside of being a bouncer. You have to wait minutes sometimes for the decent fight. It's too quiet standing here with nothing to do. You get so bored and sometimes I hit me own head for just something to do. I mean, unless someone actually asks you to thump them, there's nothing to do except wait. You pay for this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just, uh, I just, uh, uh, uh begins with a T. Thump people. What? At random? Ooh. Oh, I don't use no complicated stuff like at random. Oh, no. oh, I just thump people what cause trouble in the bar, you see, in, in the bar. Sounds like a better idea. Saves wear and tear on the knuckles. Only thing is the boredom. It almost uh, as if I hear people Asking to be thumped. I might change my job to just thumping anybody who comes by. <laughs> Do you think that's taking things too far? Well, it's quite a jump. <laughs> when you say that, I, 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 I thought you, you say thump. Sorry, it's one of them mistaken identity thingies. Is your head all right? <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cart? Didn't hit you too hard, did I? Yeah, thank you, Mother. Oh, I'm fine. It's just a little lump. Oh, oh sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> there I go again. A creature of impulse. You look a bit seedy. Are you all right? I, I don't feel so good. I, I think I'm going into a bit of a slump. Oh, oh so, sorry, sorry. Oh, where can I put my face? See, when you say that, I, I, I thought you say... Yeah, um, uh, excuse me, I think I hear someone calling. Seems like a nice guy. Totally, yeah. John Pertwee again, that's probably. Yeah, this looks like a pleasant place. Ah, a large psychotic barbarian madman. Just what I needed. Gat! 
a second psychotic barbarian madman. My cup just runneth over. Right, let's talk to the Hublanders. Excuse me. Oh. Ow! Ow! What was that for? Sorry. I think maybe you say I want to fight. Well, I bloody well didn't. That's the trouble with you people. You always think might makes right. <sighs> oh, sorry. We think you say fight again. Yes, yes. This is getting to be fairly typical, isn't it? Thank you. I'm just going to stand over there. Don't choke horribly to death on your beers or anything. So two more raw brains in the room. Yeah, outrageous comedy accent. This bar's resident psychotic maniacs, then. Yeah, it's manic barbarian gut squishes. We here to squish some guts. Maybe we squish your guts if you want. Just a little, just for fun. Oh, oh, you want fight? Uh, no, uh, no, 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 no need to trouble. I think maybe we kill him a little bit, then drink just some beer and finish him later. Later is no good. Want fight now? If we ask him nice. Maybe he put the glass upside down on par and ask for his guts to be squished? You want maybe to have us squish your guts? No, no. Look, actually, I'm pretty much booked up at the moment. Still, uh, we'll see what we can do for you later, OK? I remember that thing about turning the glass upside down. It'll be important later. Ah, oh, OK. And you gentlemen are... The Hublanders are being... Yeah. Hublanders, you maybe want to fight? What? No, 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 I don't want to fight. Not with anyone who oils his nipples, anyway. Uh, why'd you ask? It's very dull city. We won't be back. Yeah, it's too quiet. Last night we killed a little here and a little there, just indoors. I think maybe you kill twice in street, too. Yeah, I kill someone in street. Only not much. Then we get bored and go out looking for a proper fight. You want fight? No. No, we have in fact been over this material before. Maybe we get fight here later when crowd get drunk. Yeah, you want us? Just turn your glass over. We pulverize your skull and squish your guts. Yeah, look, um, I'll just make a note. Excuse me, I think I have an astonishingly urgent need to be elsewhere. Yeah, they're friendly, welcoming sorts. What are you two lummoxes doing here? Get out of my way. I think maybe he talked to us. Yeah, to us he speak. What we do with him? I say we take him, we crush him between our biceps, and we squish out his veins like icing from a tube. This one is no good for a fight, maybe. He wears a dress. Just hurt him a little. We get proper fight later. Or not. Oh, I'll catch you later then. The hub in this game is basically the equivalent of the North Pole. It's the, the dead center of the dust world. So, all, so uh, instead of north, they have hub words. Instead of south, they have rim words. Okay. Well, it makes sense if you think about it. Yeah. Hmm. Very thoroughly beaten, I'd say. Yeah, I think he got on their wrong side. Yeah, oh, go away. I've had enough. I've just been beaten to a pulp without so much as an explanation. You keep your distance or I'll scream. You know, I'm considering just uh, keeping track of all the characters and who does their voices and, and just kind of chart them all. Because I, I have a feeling Rob Ryden will end up like near enough 75% of the cast in this game. What's a lovely picture of the top three place cats in the annual Ankh-Morpork Cat Show? Mm, why, so it is. And worthy of considerable contemplation. Actually, Terra is a fair way of responding to this place. I must remember it for future reference. Oh, what do you tell me? Everyone's so nice. No! Go away! No ghosts! No ghosts! Relax, son. I'm a wizard. Let me buy you a drink. So, um... What's all this about ghosts, then, old son? In my room! A royal creature from the nethermost depths! It took me gate pass, and then it just left! Oh, I'll never forget the horror! Gate pass? Hmm. You said you'll never forget, as in... You could give me a detailed account, blow by blow, so to speak? Well, yes! Oh. So to speak. Mind if I take all of this down? Well, shouldn't I lie on a couch or something? Feel free. Would it improve matters? Nah. Tell me about this gate pass. Gate pass? Sorry, did I say gate pass? Uh, tell me 
me about this ghost. Oh, it was horrible. There it stood, all swirling and all spectral, a veritable vision straight out of the dungeon dimensions. It burst straight out of the doorway. I've got a weak heart, I have. I fainted clean away. Ah, fainted without seeing anything? Like the activities of this ghost, for instance? No, nothing. Well, I saw nothing except it reached below my jewel box. Get the letter opener from the secret compartment beneath, then open the letter I'd hidden under the mattress, read the note inside, and use the combination in the note to open up the safe. But apart from that, you remember nothing. That's right. When I came to, my city pass was gone. Ooh, spooky. This is the bar, so let's have a look at the bar. Matches. Actually, I thought all wizards were supposed to blow smoke rings or something. I really must consult that script sometime. <laughs> Oi, those are complimentary, those are. So why can't I take one? Well, you have to compliment the bar on its drinks first. Oh, I haven't had anything to drink. That's all right. What are you having? Well, once again, there's Rob Brayden. Hmm. Hairy, malodorous, the guttering light of stupidity gleaming in his eyes. It's a fair guess that this is the barman. Busy night? No, not particularly. Why? Just wondering. What is there to drink? Well, it's all a matter of suiting the clientele, friend. What do you think the sort of person who frequently frequents this bar would like to have for his drinkies? What'll it be? Is this one of those tough, brutal bars? Yeah, not through actual planning, mind. I mean, it just sort of develops. Then I'll have the usual. Uh, a glass of gin served at room temperature with a human air in it, please. Ah, yeah. I've just checked and uh, we're all out of gin. Whiskey? Um, no. Rice wine? Perno? Absinthe? Scumble? No. Old bowel bender stout? I think it's off, sir. Off? How can stout go off? It kills bacteria. You can clean privies with it. Well, it's more sort of uh, settled, sir. All the black colouring sort of swimming round the bottom. Same thing's happened to the elderberry wine. Well, I say the same thing, but it's more like lumpy. <laughs> it's probably all right, though. Ah, thank you. So what have you got that hasn't got lumps in it? Oh! Tons of stuff. Incidentally, sir, I don't know if you've noticed that rather impromptu pun there. <laughs> rather good, I thought. It could have meant tons, T-U-N-S, type of barrel, or, or tons, T-O-N-S, in its colloquial usage meaning lots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very good, yeah. So, you've got lots then? Uh, well, no, not really. <laughs> so, is there anything here to drink today? Well, yes, sir. It is a bar. I mean... Not much use having a bar if there's no actual beer being served here. Today, we have beer actually on tap. That doesn't smell like beer. That smells like Zynemouth's Lacantar Splenetic Emollient. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, it's very similar to beer, sir. Similar? It's one of the most deadly prescription medicines ever devised by man. How can it possibly be similar? Well, it is a liquid, sir. Well, I'm not touching it. I'll just have a glass of water, please. What? As in water taken from the river Ank. You're braver than I thought. Ah, oh, I see your point. Well, give us a Zynemouth Lacantar Splenetic Emollient then, please. Yeah, uh, the river Ank, which they mentioned there, it, it can basically solid. Oh, okay. It's basically like, uh, like mm. what, what the Thames was in Victorian London, only only even worse. Ew. One tankard, Rumeldium bladderbuster sized. Yeah. It's described in the book as the, uh, possibly the only river in the, in the multiverse on which you could chalk the outline of a corpse. Oh, nice. One tankard, Rumeldium... Yep, yeah, I've got that, thank you. And now we've complimented the drinks, we can get matches. Safety matches. Safe for whom? Counterwire's wine? Old Uncle Benjamin's patent embalming fluid? Old Uncle Benjamin's patent stain remover? Hmm. Old Uncle Benjamin. Yeah, he spread himself fairly thin. Yeah. So now we've had a look at the drinks, we can order, order more specifically. Would it be the teensiest bit worth my while asking, Sam? Highly likely, sir. Well, could I have a glass of counterwise wine, then? Hang on, sir. I'll just have a look. <laughs> yes? Sorry, sir. Just increasing the dramatic tension. Careful with your drink. It's a wee bit strong. It's 
strong, I didn't feel a thing. It's counterwise wine. It's grown from a grape that grows backwards in time. It affects you before you drink it. You must have had some mother of a hangover last night. Funny, I don't remember anything about last night. Oh, that bad, was it? Counterwise wine is made from grapes belonging to that class of flora, the animals, that grow only in excessively high magic fields. Normal plants grow after the seeds have been planted. With reannuals, it's the other way around. Although reannual wine causes inebriation in the normal way, the ensuing hangover is thrust backwards in time. Hence the saying, have a hair of the dog that is going to bite you. Yeah, with re uh, reannual grapes, you, uh, uh, you plant them the season after you harvest them. Fair enough. Ah, of course, it makes perfect sense. Genuine more porky and lead crystal. Fine acoustic properties. I've got plenty of stuff now. Mm. I tell you, let's increase the side of it. There we go, I think a more reasonable storage space. So with these two. Take eye contact or you've got a friend for life. Yeah, good advice in general. Actually, that's probably the best way of handling this city. Yeah, wugga wugga. Oh no, it's bursting open. Your face, your face of molten gold. Ah! Yeah, no prize for guessing who that was. God bless you, pal. My mate, my old, old what's his name? Hey, hey. As you and me against the world, Polly, I love to drink with what's his name, cause what's his name's my mate. He's got an accent as well. What a heavily injured and strangely shifty individual. Hello? 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 Oh yes. That's it, is it? That's the way you greet the greatest hero of our age? The one, the only, the invincible? You are. I'm important, me. I can't just go around answering any old greeting, you know. Well, how would you prefer I greet you then? Well, shoving a pint in me hand would be nice. I'm Flea Bart the Incredible. Greatest thief in the multiverse. I've survived everything. I fought the ant god of quacks and he doesn't even exist. And I survived the valley of the scantily clad, amazingly well hairstyled Amazon women. I've even escaped from the Temple of Ophla, from which no other man has returned in fewer than three pieces. I don't believe a word of this. Huh? Huh? You dare to doubt the greatest hero of our age? I'm known all up and down the river, I am. The river? Yeah. The river Ank? Isn't that a little dangerous? You have to watch out for all the goiters and the yours. Yours? What's yours? Mine's another point, thanks. <laughs> then there was the time I blah, both blah, blah. Barky, a drink. That was an elaborate way of getting a pint, wasn't it? Oh, certainly. And my hand at going to give a succulent mumps give a rounded mumps give a brang, a hot custard bath, and wild slithering, clawing at my mouth, and then we had some tea. And then they made me their god. True story. Characteristic scent of turpentine, crushed cockroaches, and recycled beer. This must lead to the wine cellar. Yes, this looks inviting. Ah, yes. Standard gleaming white eyes, probably attached to a standard black shaggy monster. I wonder if it'd help if I sang about my favourite things. So we can try venturing forward, but all we get is. Oh. See, that's the other thing about Rincewind, he's also a massive coward. Yeah. Maybe that's probably all the same. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, a, that's his whole yeah, philosophy. Yeah, so I'll have to remember yeah. this bit for a future flea in terror mode. Yeah, literally his whole philosophy in life is running away. It's, it's mentioned that, uh, that he has a lot of scars, all of them on his back. From running. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, where do we go next? Do 
right, let's try the city gate. Look at the gate, Prince One, come on. I don't think we forgot to add the description for that. Here! You can't go through the gates without a gate pass. I can arrest him now, Nobby. That's illegal, that is. Leave him without a pass. I haven't left yet. What? I said I haven't left yet. Yeah? And? If it's only illegal if I leave, then it can't be illegal for me to not leave. Ah, right you are then. Well, just just watch it. That's all. Just you watch it. Yeah, so remember the uh, the guy back in the bar? We, he said he uh, has a gate pass, so we need one of them to get out. Obviously the commander of the guards. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. Always good to know the guards are being kept nice and safe. Yeah. So these characters, they actually show up in the books. Oh okay. dear. You know, that's possibly the closest I've ever seen anything come to being a human without actually being one. So that's Corporal Nobby Nobs. <laughs> ah, you'll be the mandatory pink idiot youth with sword then. And this is Carrot. He's a dwarf. No, really. Evening all. Now, Nobby? Do I book him now? What for? Um, loitering with intent. Paragraph 7, subsection 3. Lurking, loitering and vending without due course. Oh, Carrot, give it a rest. Take a walk. Who are you people, anyway? We're the city guard, mister. What, all two of you? Three of us. There's me and the sergeant, who's a bit under the weather as account of making an arrest of a large quantity of lager. Then there's the kid, Carrot. The boy's going to be a full member soon. Marvellous. We're on patrol. There's been a few thefts around here lately. Strange things going missing. Little knickknacks all over town. Almost as if someone's been swallowing them. You don't know anything about it, do you? What? Oh, goodness me, I never heard of any such thing in all my life. Well, we thought we might patrol our way over to the Broken Drum. Then we might patrol our way over to the inn. Then there's a few wine cellars whose doors definitely need checking. I see. So, what are you up to then? So yeah, Nobby shows up later in the series uh, as well. No longer voiced by Tony Robinson. Voiced by, guess who? Rob Brighton. Yep. But for some reason, in both cases, they uh, they give him an Irish accent. How is it? Oh, nothing. See, Nobby? Loitering! That's loitering! Of course it isn't. Just because I'm not doing anything important doesn't mean I'm loitering. Well, it's as close as maybe. Well, the law has to be specific. What actually is loitering? Oh, well, once upon a time... There was all sorts of laws, of course. Yes, such as... Oh, intent to go into a pub and have a drink. Intent to strip stark naked and wave at passers-by. Intent to go into a pub and have really big drinks. Intent to pass by the guard without giving them a smoke. You haven't got a spare on you by any chance. Uh, no, sorry, I don't. No loss, no loss. Well, look, I wasn't planning on doing any of those things. Well, how are we to know that? Well, I was just standing there. What's the difference between loitering and minding your own business? Ah, well... Your inveterate loiterer sort of sidles his way along the pavement, kind of moving without even twitching a muscle. Uh, oh, yes, I know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, gotta watch for them invertebrates. Some criminals just have no backbone. Had to struggle a bit for that one, didn't you? What does a city guard do? Not a lot. Not much call for us nowadays. Thiever is permitted as long as it meets guild quarters. So how big is the city guard? Well, it must be... Yeah, easily. Ooh, fully... What? Well, there's three of us. But you said the kid is new. He just wandered in out of the wilds one day. Almost heroic like it was. He's the first volunteer we've had in decades. He's having a little bit of trouble fitting in, though. He's a bit literal-minded, you see, on account of the fact that he's a dwarf. A dwarf? He's seven foot tall if he's an inch. He's the tallest dwarf in the world. I lied about my height, see? You were a very good liar. He's a good loomer, too. He can really loom, Carrot can. Never known anyone for looming like Carrot. A tall dwarf. It's all right. He's growing out of it. <laughs> so, yeah, this, this would seem... Uh, the scene that plays the game is uh, set fairly early in the, uh, the series, if it's set anywhere at all, because... Uh, at the time, at Guards Guards, when the City Watch is first introduced, there's only like a few members, and then as it goes on, there's gradually more and more until it becomes a, f a full blown police force. Look, I'm not gonna stay here. I've had a very trying day. Exciting? Full of action? What? Yes, I suppose so. Well, that's disturbing the peace then. Okay, these are your rights. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right not to remain silent, but to say, ah, 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 please do not do that again. You have the right to say, yes, all right, it was me what done it. Ah, ah, no, not the fingers. Ah! Carrot, 
No. What? No, Carrot. We are not going to arrest him. But Nobby, he just admitted. But we're turning a blind ear. Well, I'll just move along then, shall I? Fine. Now, I'm not sure where they got this characterization from Carrot either, because there's nothing like that on the books. Really? Oh, no, he's... Oh, okay. Yeah, he's... He's the, uh, the most likable person on, the, on Earth, well, on disc, I suppose, in the books. So so I don't know where, where they got this vindictive idea for him. But anyway. I haven't done anything to you. Why don't you just leave me alone? Well, I'm, I'm a guard, sir. A guard has to... to... To what? Well, well, to guard, sir. I mean, we have to watch out for theft, sir. Does that have to involve harassing me? Well, you are the potential suspect, sir. Why do I have to be a suspect? Couldn't I be... Well, stock in trade. Stock in trade? Well, instead of harassing me, you could just take a quick look every now and then to make sure I haven't been stolen. Good thinking, sir. If you are ever stolen, I shall report it to you at once. Fair enough. Yeah. I think your commander wants you to fall in. Right you are, sir. <laughs> OK, well, that was a quick one. So, you're uh, uh, a... Uh, a dwarf, sir. That's right. Don't let the height fool you. Yeah, he was adopted, you see. Oh, OK. Look, I haven't done anything. Will you stop trying to arrest me? You haven't done anything? No! Nothing at all? Absolutely not. Right! That's vagrancy, that is. Under Article 7, subparagraphs 3 and 4, I must ask you to accompany me down to the watch house. And then what? Um, well, ah, yeah. Well, the book didn't quite go into punishment. Uh, only arrest. So, is this the watch house? Uh, yes. Right, well, then I'll accompany you there. Is that all right? Um, yes, yes, I suppose so. Well, I've certainly been taught a lesson. Well, I'll just move along then, shall I? Fine. Well, he's thorough. I'll give him that. Uh, no, we can't get him the box just yet. OK, let's move along then. Actually, on second thoughts, it looks like the exit to town. OK, I think should we explore one more area and then call, call it uh, quits for this video? Yeah, what, what timing are we on? It's not about 50 minutes, really. Uh, thereabouts. So. Uh, Are we not sticking to about 50 minutes range? Yeah, actually, yeah. You know what that'll do. I just wanted to make some actual progress before we finish, but... Okay, we're still in the ex exploration phase, so we can start actual prog progress next time, so... Yeah, yeah, we'll make a start in it then. So until then, say goodnight, Viv. Goodnight, Viv. Night, everybody.